It's 1944, the waning days of World War II, when a former Finnish soldier discovers a buttload of gold in the Lapland countryside. All he has to do now is make his way into the city to cash in. Unfortunately, a group of Nazi soldiers stand in his way. It isn't unfortunate for him, by the way, but for the Nazis. You see, they're about to find out why our prospecting friend was the most feared man in his unit. A one-man death squad who earned the nickname The Immortal. It's time to let the bodies, and the body parts, hit the floor. Sisu is a Finnish word that cannot be translated. It means a white-knuckle form of courage, an unimaginable determination. Sisu manifests itself whenever all hope is lost. Hope, in this case for our prospecting former one-man death squad Atami, is the gold, and the fresh start it will provide him after losing his family and his home in the war. For brutal SS officer Bruno, the gold also represents a fresh start. He knows that the war is lost, and that his future... Well, he doesn't have one. Without the gold. That's about all the plot writer and director Halmari Helander provides, aside from a brief introduction to Atami, establishing him as a solitary prospector who's covered in so many scars that his body looks like it's been pieced together, Frankenstein-style, before shooting us out the proverbial cannon. From there, stuff like dialogue is scarce, while carnage is plentiful. I've heard Sisu being compared to John Wick, which I don't think is a fair comparison. Sisu, at least for me, never reached the levels of over-the-top silliness that the John Wick series now calls home. The fight scenes and the bulk of the action sequences in Sisu are a lot grittier, and far less... fancy. Don't get me wrong, Sisu is still silly at times. I mean, Atami survives things that... He probably shouldn't. In the third act, he boards a plane in a manner not supported by either the FAA or reality. Still, I never had one of those oh-come-on moments that I usually have with the likes of John Wick or the Fast and the Furious movies. Sisu actually reminded me a lot more of Halloween Kills. What? Now hear me out. In Halloween Kills, Michael just wants to walk across town and go home. But people keep getting in his way. Here, a Tommy just wants to ride his horse into town so he can cash in his gold. But Nazis keep getting in his way. In Kills, Myers is unstoppable. A Tommy is equally unstoppable. As a matter of fact, a Tommy takes an even greater beating here than Myers did in Kills and just refuses to die. But that's kind of the point. Atami's resolve and overwhelming drive to not die, his ability to take a licking and keep on ticking, and his penchant for never staying down reminded me a lot of Myers. He's also pretty much a mute, which also... Myers. It's almost as if Atami is possessed, as if he is the manifestation of Sisu. Sisu maintains a good sense of humor throughout, and never takes itself too seriously. It's also a great-looking movie. The photography of the Finnish countryside goes from beautiful to barren and bleak, the deeper into Atami's journey we go. There's a plethora of cool action sequences that transpire on land, underwater, and in the air. And the carnage is off the charts. When I said let the bodies and the body parts hit the floor earlier, I meant it. Look no further than a thrilling sequence involving a road littered with landmines. I also really dug the stripped-down approach to the storytelling here. We know all we need to know about Atami without the character ever saying a word. His violent past and sense of loss is evident using only sound design, symbolic photography, and a stunning performance from Horma Tamiya. And we get to bask in the glorious joy of watching Nazis get annihilated in brutal fashion. What's not to love about that? There's a bit of a subplot involving a truckload of captive women that the Nazis are not being very nice to. I don't know if they were needed, though. The ladies don't play that big a role in the story other than to further cement the fact that the Nazis are bad. But do we really need that fact reinforced? Sisu is a fast-paced, thoroughly fun, and highly entertaining action flick that delivers exactly what it promises. 
I highly recommend it. If you've seen Sisu, please let me know your thoughts on the film down in the comments section below. If you like this video, please leave it a thumbs up and share it on social media. If you're not following me on social media, those links are in the description. As always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Take care. And until next time, peace. A huge thank you to all my patrons and channel members for your generosity and support. Become a patron today and get early access to videos, have a say in what content appears on my channel, join me for monthly live streams, exclusive watch parties, and more. Become a channel member today and get access to exclusive badges and emotes to use when I stream, as well as members only watch parties. Both those links are in the description. Say hello to the internet, Jeremy. Hello to the internet.